Hey everyone, welcome back to JD Does Dev. I'm JD, and today we're going to take a look at a little trick that I use for Git. Every once in a while, I will accidentally commit something that I didn't mean to. Maybe it's just a line of code. Maybe it's something uh, that I was using for debugging that I didn't want to make it to the repo, but somehow it did. This little trick helps out, so let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so today we're going to be looking at a function, well, more of a flag in Git that has saved me a ton of time, and I really... Once I found it, I haven't stopped using it. Uh, but before we get to that, I want to know if there are any tips or tricks that you have for Git. Um, leave them in the comments. Let me know because I'm always looking to learn something. All right, let's get right into it. Um, so you can see here I've got my terminal. Let's go over to my editor. I've got uh, this useless function here and the value of worth is zero. So all that it does, it checks to see if the value of worth is greater than zero. It'll dump out you're not worthless otherwise it's going to dump out oof zero has no worth um we set a very very small array and we just do a for each loop here now this flag if you we look i initialize the git repo so git status okay great so we're gonna git add testing php all right now let's look at it now this is add staged but here's line um, test equals one. I use that primarily for debugging. So if I need to set a breakpoint someplace where a variable isn't being assigned and run xdebug there, I'll put in basically this test equals one. But I don't want that to make it up to my repo. Now, uh, this isn't so much a problem in a small file like this, but if you're working with something like a Drupal site on your local and you have some development modules that you don't want to make up, uh, this is a, an extra check to make sure those don't make it up there. So instead, let's reset this. Check it. Okay, so what we're going to do is git add dash p. Now that makes it more interactive, and that's exactly what it copies, git interactive. Um, so if you look at the docs here, git scm.com slash docs slash git add, um, interactive mode goes through and gives you some commands that you can use to decide on what you want to do. Uh, that's exactly what this does. So I'm going to click the help and it gives us stage this hunk, do not stage this hunk, quit, do not stage this hunk or any of the remaining and all these. So we can see that we go through, all right, I definitely want to set this default value, but I don't want this in here. I'm not going to stage this. We're going to hit no, but what we can do also is edit it. So we don't want something going in there. Delete that line. All right, so that file has been split into two. We've got modified that is not staged and the change ready to be committed. If we look over, everything else is ready to go, but this line is still unstaged. So we can remove that, save it, and just the file's ready to go. We can commit that, send that up to the repo. So that's the quick trip that I have. Hopefully it'll save you some time like it has me. Uh, so if you don't mind, if you learned something, go ahead. Give me a like and subscribe, leave a comment down at the bottom, let me know what your favorite Git trick is, and we'll see you on the next one. I'm JD, and this is JD Does Dev.